Look at us, all matching matchy kinda. Well, we kinda match, <laughs> not on purpose. Just happens to be what's on top of the clothes. Yeah. At least for me. Anyways, good morning. Good morning. We're almost to Cozumel. We got about three hours until we get there. Late port day today. We've never done Cozumel this way. Yeah. It's 12 to 8, so yeah. that's kind of cool. We get to see the sunset over getting, Cozumel. And we're going to go to Nachi Coco. Yeah, never so, done that either. Yeah, it's going to be a good day. But first, we got to fuel up. We got to eat some breakfast. <laughs> and we're going to do some things around the ship before we get off the ship. Yeah. Maybe a trivia, and I think they're doing like King of the Lido or something like that this morning. What the heck is that? I think it's some kind of, I don't know, like a sexy man competition on Royal Caribbean, from oh. what I read. Okay. So we may go watch that. But as always, we'll carry you along, let you see Cozumel, the funnest place in the Caribbean. Let's go. I'm also going to try something new this morning that we've never done before. We're going to eat Guy's Burgers for breakfast. Interesting. Let's see what this looks like. Minus the egg. <laughs> Let's look at the menu. Who would have thunk it? Burgers for breakfast. So there's a little bit of a line this morning. It's a 10 minute wait for the burgers, but you know, we was like, why? There's nobody here. And it was like, look at the Lido deck. And then we saw this. The freaking town animals. Not only have they made the line at the burger place long, they took over all the chairs. What do you got to say for yourself? Oh, you're quiet, huh? So, we ain't got no chairs, and we gotta wait 10 minutes for the burgers, but to come soon. Okay, this is what we got. I got the bacon, egg, and cheese, I guess you wanna call it. And Amanda got the turkey burger. Primetime turkey. Primetime turkey. It comes on French toast. We'll see how they taste. Okay. Guys burger for breakfast. Epic fail. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I got the primetime turkey. It was supposed to have a French toast bun, a turkey patty with cheese, provolone cheese, maple gravy maple donkey sauce bacon and a hash brown on it probably would never have ate all of that even if it was edible but it was not edible i don't even know what the hash brown was it had it, some kind of like corn masa texture or something it was weird really really weird full of grease i think the french toast which they didn't make it that way at first i had to get them to remake it like it should have been made um, they just put it on a bun. I probably should have took it on the bun. The French toast was like they soaked it in grease after they toasted it. It was really, really nasty. Like, I took one bite of it, and I'm like, uh-uh, nope. And not to mention that the donkey sauce was just regular donkey sauce. It had no maple flavor. Yeah. And there was no gravy on it, even though the guy said it was under the cheese. Yeah. On top of the turkey, there was no gravy. And my burger, it was basically just a burger. I, um... The fried egg, I don't eat the yolk, so I took those off. Um, but for me, the bun was just horrible, and I didn't get the maple donkey sauce either, so. Um. So we just put that to the side, and we went and got our regular two-bite breakfast yeah. that'll just do until lunchtime. I replaced mine with some muffins. <laughs> I got a piece of ham. <laughs> so, yeah. First experience, we'll just leave the burgers for lunch. Yeah, they were really good last night for dinner. Yeah. Uh, I had a burger for dinner, it was really good. I don't recommend breakfast there. Just don't waste your time. Get a get a blue and wine a burrito. Awesome. How are you feeling at this moment? Woo! <laughs> so great! Thank you! Awesome. You had uh 99.9% .9 chances of getting this trophy. <laughs> Uh, we got it. Congratulations. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. So that was an incredible game of video game trivia. We got our ship on the stick. 
to add to the collection. We come we back. Won! We won! Woo! <laughs> nice excitement there, Amanda. But there you go. He's right there with our new friend, which is, let's call it a bear. Maybe. Maybe he's Bippo the Hippo. We don't know what he is. He could be a hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. So we're still getting closer to Cozumel. We're fixing to go watch Legend of the Lido. Yeah. So, yeah. But we got our ship on the stick, so Yay! that's that's great. And we didn't have to get it from John Hill this time. We actually won it this time. Video game trivia. Yeah. It it, it doesn't hurt that we were the only ones there, <laughs> but right place, right time. Right. So he asked us like ten questions, and we knew like half of them. So. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, we got to talk to him, Ivan. If you ever watch this. Yeah, thank we you. En we enjoyed, we enjoyed talking with you. Yeah. So let's go up there, watch the legend on the Lido, and then Mexico. We haven't knocked yet. We're gonna be a little bit late, it looks like, but we're gonna catch some lunch at the Lucky Bowl before we get off. We got some sweet and sour chicken. We got some Korean pork, and we got a little bit of rice. The fill up before the fill up. All right, we're almost docked. We're right beside the Carnival Paradise, the grandeur of the seas, the valor is on the other side, but good old Cozumel. How the hell are you today? <laughs> and there's the Carnival Valor. We have not did that ship just yet, but it's basically the same thing as this ship. That ship just doesn't have all the upgrades this one does. <laughs> what a cluster that was. Oh my gosh, that is ridiculous. I have seen way larger ships with way more people be more organized than getting off of this ship. Not to mention we're an hour, an hour late. late. <laughs> an hour late. I guess it was the fair runners last night. Who knows. <laughs> Anyways. Here we are. We're here. We gotta go get our taxi now to Nachicoco. Never been there before. Let's go. Alright, so we made the trek through the duty free. That's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Now we're walking through all the shops, going to the taxis. Here's a pro tip. When you, if you want to do shopping, that's all great. Cozumel has a lot of shops. You can get anything you want in there. You do it when you come back. Don't hold up progress trying to do it while you're walking out. Because then you just got to carry it around the whole time you're doing stuff. So yeah, just do it when you get back. 
All right, now we're in the taxi stand. This is what it looks like. We are here, not Chicago. Not a bad way to spend the day. There you go, we're right here on the beach and reference. Right over there is Mr. Sancho's, so we're right beside it. A day pass here is $69 per person. They only allow 130 guests here per day, so definitely get them reservations in. It's all inclusive. You get one meal per day. I don't think it's all you can eat food, but we'll find out, and if that's different, I'll let you know. All right, just call me Mr. Court. We'll be bobbing away for a little while in the water in the Mexico the water's pretty refreshing I would say it's about 80 degrees it's April 20 something six, six seven anyway uh, it's late April it's April 27 the water is pretty nice once you get in it's pretty clean I don't see a lot of sargasm or seawood seaweed or any of that stuff um, yeah like I'm saying, $69, all inclusive. We're here on this Carnival Sunrise, and we can stay till 6:30 instead of 6 o'clock. Because normally they close at 6, but our ship, since we got here late, we can stay till 6:30. So, like I said, 130 people max. Compared to Mr. Sancho's, the next door neighbor, they lay allow six, seven hundred people. So, Look how packed they are. Though. Pretty nice. They're packed. Like, that's Mr. Sancho's right there. And look at ours. The whole beach is full. This is our beach. Hi! And it's the same price. $69, so. Gonna have a good day. Hello. Everybody always wonders, what, what do you do with your valuables when you're at a beach club? You don't want to leave them on the beach because somebody can snatch them. We use this dry pack. Um, it's a two liter one. It holds both of our phones, our ship cards, our ID, and some cash. You probably could put keys, anything else in here that's kind of small phone size would fit. Um, this is what we use and it works really, really good. It kind of floats in here. It has a strap. The water doesn't get in. We just take it with us in the water on water activities and that's how we keep up with our stuff. If you're interested, the link's in the description below. Well, that was our food. So it looks like you pretty much can order what you want when you get your food i don't think you can like go as you want you know it, like you got to order it at one time um it was pretty good the fried stuff is a little overdone and amanda said her fajitas are a little butchered a little bit the chicken was perfect the, chicken was perfect. the beef was a little tough the guac was really good the um cheese sticks were delicious chicken wings was like cooked too much yeah so now we're gonna we're gonna snorkel we're gonna go see if there's anything out there so enjoy the underwater video and then we're gonna get back to relaxing hold me close till I 
So we're just continuing the day. Man, this place, <coughs> it's like 420, all right? There's literally 12 people here. We got the whole beach club to ourselves. Like, it's crazy. Considering I'm sitting here looking at Sancho's and I see 100 people. Like, that whole beach right there is full of people and a hundred yards down the beach we're here we got all of this yeah it's been a good day it's been a real good day um the food yeah, it, it had good flavor, but like I said earlier, they overcooked it. But everything else, it's a great day, a great time. We saw a stingray in the water. We saw a couple other fish, so what else can you do? Nachi Kokum for the win. It's been a fun day. We met some flabber jaws. Roy was a flabber jaw with a guy from Texas that was a flabber jaw. <laughs> they were funny. We had a good time chilling out with about six people. It was pretty cool. It was a very nice relaxing day. They wasn't open quite as late as they said they was because they had an event, but we're fixing to leave. We stayed longer than they wanted us to. So. Okay, but as far as Nachi Kunkum goes, there was nobody here. There were 55 people here today. Most of them left about the time we got here. Yeah, they so had we, early ships. We've pretty much had the beach, the club, everything to ourselves since we've been here. Yeah. There's been 12 people max at any given time. Yeah. So it's been an amazing time. I would definitely come here again. Yeah. I think their communication is a sketchy. A little wonky, but yeah. in all respect, we had a late ship, which is odd, but on their website, they do say for the sunrise, they stay till 6.30 Cozumel time right. for us, and they really don't. I think the only thing that's changed, they have a uh, a Christian, a Christian, Christening. whatever. Christening. Yeah. And so it's like a special event, yeah. so they were closing down a little They're bit closing early a little early, so what it is what it is. Yeah. There's literally six people here, and we're all fixed to get in a taxi together, and we're all going to go back to the port, yep. and whatever, but no Chicocum. I rate it a seven. Now, the food, let's rate the food separately. The food? I'd say like maybe a five and a half, because everything was overcooked. Yes. The guacamole was good, and the chicken on the fajitas was good, but everything else was overcooked. The chicken wings were overcooked. Oh, the mozzarella sticks were really good. My fish was fried way too much. It was like, 
yeah extra crispy but this view right here that one it's it was so beautiful and very well worth it yeah and we had our own little casita which is a hut with the shade and all that so yeah. for 69 dollars and it's just been amazing yeah considering sancho's is literally right there and the and beach has been packed all day yeah. so i would highly oh. recommend this place and we saw a stingray we did we see a stingray them. yeah it was one cool. of the little baby ones i don't know exactly I think it was what a it was manta called. ray i think we'll see so but it was cool back to the ship we go so we're out of here Hi. we're gonna catch a taxi um we're gonna share a taxi this time so the taxi rates 20 dollars for a group of four. four there's two ladies that's gonna join us so we're gonna have to pay ten dollars that's yeah. good so we'll see you back on the ship. Yep. Peace. Bye. We're going back. Okay, I, I kind of felt like I cheated you guys on the vlogs today. Noche Cocum was amazing. I didn't show you the pool. I didn't show you much. But all you needed to see was the beach. And now we're back at port. Um, yeah, it's amazing. Look at this, look at this picture of the ship. That's the grandeur of the seas over there. Cozumel is one of our favorite ports. We love Cozumel. There are so many things you can do here. If you've never been to Nachi Cocum, you need to definitely try it out. $69 for all day pass. <laughs> Yeah, we're getting back on the ship. There's the grandeur of the seas. How are we getting back on the ship? I wonder how many pier runners we're going to have today. If we have any pier runners, you better believe we'll put it on here. Here come some last minute sallies. Obviously, their their time isn't set right, but let's see. Let's see. one, two, three. There's like seven of them. Just like, oh, we can do whatever we want to. All right, so it's 8:05. Uh, we're obviously missing people. Um, there's people waiting, but they pulled the gangways up, so I don't understand. Um, it looks like we might be leaving these folks here. Um, kind of sketch people got to get back to the ship on time man you got to get back to the ship you got to get back to the ship give yourself an hour in port before the time leaves uh it looks like these people were missing on an excursion but i mean it looks like they're they're pulling up the gangway we might be leaving them keep you updated all right well we're leaving about 20 minutes late so either we're leaving people here or we got everybody and we're just leaving late. Yeah, we didn't hear names, so yeah. we don't know. So I think everybody may be on the ship, but there was rumors going around that there was carnival excursions late. Either ways, we're leaving 20 minutes late. So. There's the horn. Yeah, there's the horn. Adios. You got one thing to say. They make rules for a reason. Please follow them. Just follow them. And then another thing on top of that is if you work somewhere and you're supposed to enforce the rules, enforce the rules simple you make rules you enforce rules everybody stay safe yeah the world will be better if you enforce the rules yep. don't be scared of confrontation yep. confrontation sometimes is hard but safety is a must and you have to confront people yep. shame on your carnival shame shameful anyways i think it's we're going to go eat some dinner yeah because it's like 8 20. 
and uh, we're selling away. So yep. it's kind of weird because we sat here 20 minutes late. Sure, Carn weird. Carnival don't like paying fines, so I don't know why we would sit here 20 minutes late. And but look, that guy's still here. We don't know. So anyway, great day in Cozumel. Yep. Off to eat. Yep. Later. Adios, Cozumel. That's all you get for the sunset tonight is behind the clouds. We're out of here. All right, well, we had dinner. Now we're going to watch Love and Marriage. It's been a long day. I know it's been a long day. Some of y'all probably sleep right down in your seats, but you made it out, so give yourselves a huge round of applause. Yeah. Stanley, if you haven't met me already, my name is Leon. Everybody say, hey, Leon. Hey, Leon. Hey, Leon. Uh, we're going on a tour. We're going on a tour. What you do? Yeah, I'm going to win her. <laughs> you know, when, you, when you pop the question, were you at a restaurant? Was it at a, uh, a special location? How did it go? We're here at the United States Military Air Force Base in Dallas. Two years? Two years. What's your name? Stacy. And would you say Mr. Isaac is a romantic type of guy? Yes. 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 How long y'all been married? 47 Sunday. 47 years tomorrow. We came back to our room though, and we just noticed this. What'd we notice? Flipping back to my train. What in the carnival is going on here? He's trying to make a dollar. Trying to make some dollars and I guess that's how they have the towel animal invasions. Cheers, paint one friend. I don't know. I don't know how they got that way. They just do bad things when we're gone. <laughs> it's a clear wall. Well, hello. Hi. We are officially calling it a night. We are tired. We just watched the Love and Marriage show. Mr. Johnny was hilarious. <laughs> he was so funny. 50 years, man. <laughs> Good for them. Good for them. He kept getting out of his seat. And Leon was like, Johnny, sit down. Sit down. <laughs> Johnny be good. <laughs> Johnny was bad. So today was a fun day. Yes, we had catfish. We gotta eat the catfish. Mac and cheese. So. Tiramisu. I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> he Who just knows? keeps going like this. Wow. Anyways, <laughs> but anyways, we're tired old farts. We're gonna call it a night. We're going to bed. We're gonna relax, fall asleep. Yeah, tomorrow's a sea day so we can relax. But anyways, we're gonna end this vlog showing you what Mr. John Hill from Carnival Cruise Lines, they, he sent us a special yeah. present. And let's take a look at that. Yeah. It's a medallion and some cookies. Thank you, John Hill. So thank you, Mr. John Hill. <laughs> we and appreciate it. We'll see you on the next Carnival Cruise. Hopefully Bye. one day. So please like the video. Subscribe if you hadn't. Why why are you not subscribed? It's free. You can't you can't get comedy like this nowhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, till the next time. Peace. Bye.